Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back Octavian Nadalu. Thank you, George. So uh, the next presentation will be about the comparing the merge support, the new support that we added to compare documents in a visual mode. You've seen something that George presented when you integrate the changes. So I'll go into more details and how you can integrate this uh, uh, new support in different plugins or external tools. So here's an overview of the presentation. I'll show you the compare mode, uh, the merging actions that you can use, uh, how, what frameworks and what document types can be used to, to be compared in a visual mode, comparison algorithms, and how we can integrate the new tool. So there are a lot of users that are editing in visual mode because it, it's more nicer for them. It can focus on the content. They can see the images, the links, and it's very nice. So uh, I can show you a simple example. I have here uh, flowers. Uh, I have links. I have tables. So I have images. It looks nicer than the text mode where you see a lot of tags, the table layout, it's not so easy to be understood. So there are a lot of people that are editing content in a visual manner. So for them it will be more appropriate to have this comparison and see the changes that are made to the documents in a visual mode and see what exactly change in the content and just hide the other parts that are not interesting in. So uh, right now what can they do? For example if they have two documents a solution would be to have it side by side, right? And just look at the changes. And they also can synchronize those two editors and see the version the two versions of the the document and they can see okay here is a change in the right but it's hard to see all the changes that are made in document right so you need a tool that will highlight the exact parts that are changed so for this you can use the compare files tool which allows you to select two files for example and I'll select the two files and I'll get the changes in the text mode but it's not so pretty in the text mode so I worked in author I've seen the links now I'll see the changes in the text it's not that way what I want to to do so now you have this author mode here and you can switch to author mode and see the changes, the modifications that you made, uh, the additions that are made in the right part. So it's easier for me to understand each change from the, from the document. <laughs> so there are differences between the text and the author mode. So maybe sometimes you need the, the text mode because you need to see the entire things and you need to see the I don't know, the spaces that maybe are relevant for you, the IDs, stuff like this that is hidden in, in the author mode. And then it's better maybe sometimes to have also the text mode. But if you want to focus on the content, then you could do this in the author mode and see the track changes instead of seeing some processing instructions that are not saying anything for you or uh, seeing the images or seeing some URLs that are not so important. And I have here also an image that presents the difference, uh, on some changes that are made on the paragraph. So you can see that in the author, only the, the text that is really changed, it's highlighted, but in the text part, you have also some new lines that maybe are not important for you. And you have also some uh, URLs that in the author mode are presented like some nicer links. 
And this new comparison mode, it's available for data documents, for the book, for TI documents, but you can provide, uh, you can use it for, for any type of document. So we can create a CSS that will allow you to switch to the author page and then you can use this new comparison mode just by switching to the author page and show, showing you the differences. Uh, let's go into detail and see what happens uh, in the author page. So, uh, uh, we highlight block of differences and we presented them with different colors. Uh, with, with red, it's a modification that was made in the document. With blue, it's something mm -hmm. that it's added in the right part with gray something that it's added in the left. So I can easily spot the differences. I can see the block of changes and I get I can go to the entire document very easily. Then you can go also in detail and see uh, changes that are made on word level. <laughs> so you can easily spot the modification and if you click on on word it's automatically highlighted in the other part of the, the uh, in the left side or in the right side for example if i go here i'll find that this is the modification in the right if i go up i see that this goes just after uh, the word and I can easily spot this modification in my document. Next, you have also support to compare these documents in a, in a three-way manner. Like George said, sometimes you have a document and you send them for review and you know what, then you want to integrate those reviews. But in a meanwhile, maybe uh, I made some changes in the document. So I need to somehow uh, compare the documents, see the changes and merge them and this can be done with a three-way comparison mode. And we added this also for the author mode. In my case, I have these flowers, which is uh, modified by me locally. Uh, the flowers reviewed, it's the one that I sent to a reviewer, but I have also the original file that I sent to the reviewer, which is this flower scent. And now if I compare in a three-way manner, I see the exact changes that I made in document. Those with gray I made, are made by me. <coughs> Those with uh, blue are, I made, are made by the reviewer. So it's easier to merge the changes between the two documents. And I have also some conflicts here. Those are marked with uh, red. This means that both me and the reviewer change the same thing. Then uh, how these documents are uh, detected and opened in the author page. Uh, we automatically, when you define a document type, you specify also a page uh, for the document, a default page where the document will be open in the text page, in the grid, in the author. And if you specify the author page, automatically the diff will open the comparison also in the author page as in the case of uh, some data documents that I have here as samples. And the uh, page, the state uh, of the page will, will be saved. So next time, uh, if you switch to the text page because you want to see the changes in the text page and uh, start the diff, next time you'll get the changes also in the text page. I'll show you an example for this. So let's close this files so I have here the these three files that I want to compare and they're open automatically in the author page because they are data files and the data framework specified that it should be uh, open in the author page but if I switch to the text page because maybe I'm more uh, excited about this comparison when I start the comparison again, the comparison will be made in the text page. So 
it will remember the last state of the comparison. Uh, let's see now how you can navigate. So you can navigate uh, to see the difference through a block level and see a uh, block of changes and identify what happens there. But you can navigate also at war level and check each change manually and merge it or just read it to, to see if it's something that uh, you want in your document. You can also define some shortcuts if you want to easily navigate. So there are these actions on the toolbar that allows you to uh, navigate at the block level, but you can use also those ones if you want to see changes inside the block and go through each change very easily. Uh, if you want to find a difference that it's in your document, for example, if I want to find the conflict, I can go also in the range ruler and click uh, the difference and it takes me to that uh, part of the document. So if I want to go to the last change, because I remember that is something important here, I can easily go also through the range ruler. And those actions are available also in the contextual menu. And as I said, you can use the shortcuts for easier access. You have also these actions to go to the first change or the last change for, from the document. Then uh, how we can do the merging. So you just need to point a uh, 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 modification and use the, the in-place actions to merge them. Or you can edit the document directly in the, uh, in the diff and uh, make your own modifications there. Uh, for example, if I want to get these changes back into my file, I just click on them or I can go on a block and get the entire changes from here. Like this, I can use also the contextual menu and I can say I, I want to copy uh, the changes from left to right or if I go to the right document, it will say that I want to copy the changes from the other part. And if I want to make my own changes in the document, I can use the full uh, functionality to insert, for example, new list items and insert text or maybe to edit some links, some formatting or some hrefs directly here in the, in the comparison mode. So you don't need to switch in oxygen anymore. Uh, you can also merge this uh, content automatically. We provide actions to automatically merge and keep the current changes that you have in, in the document. Uh, only the non-conflicting changes will be merged. The conflicting changes, you need to merge them manually. Let's start this comparison again because I made already some changes here. So uh, let's say I want to get all the reviewers changes. I check them. I look through all the changes and I see that it seems OK to me. So I can use this action that will take all non-conflicting changes in, the, in my local copy. And we see that only the changes marked with uh, gray remain. So my changes remain in the document and the conflicts, because in this paragraph there are some conflicts, that I need to solve them manually. And also this one. So it's easy to merge the changes. You have these actions. Uh, the actions are available on the toolbar and in the contextual menu. And you also can define some shortcuts if you want to get the changes very easily. Just iterate them with some shortcuts and then get the changes in in your local copy. 
then uh, the algorithms that you use for the for the outer mode comparison we have two algorithms the xml fast which works better on large files but uh, is not so precise but you can use uh, also xml accurate which is more precise but it, it in, uh, in expense of uh, speed so for large documents uh, it takes longer to, to compare them uh, we automatically select the appropriate algorithm depending on the type of the document and uh, on, on the size and on the complexity of the document. So by default this auto mode is selected and the algorithm that is used is presented in the status bar here but you can change this algorithm from this combo and the new algorithm is used. And you can also configure from, from the option if you want to use, for example, always XML fast or always XML accurate. Uh, if you like to see uh, the, the tags and see what elements are in the author mode and see also the attributes, then you can enable this uh, uh, mode to see the author with full tags or full tags with attributes. And you can do this from the toolbar. You have here some options that will I will select the full tags. And you can see the document like this. And if you want to see also the attributes, then it will look like this. So maybe you want to edit faster some attributes and stuff like this so you can you can use it also in this mode uh, there are also some options available for uh, the author mode comparison so you can disable this or enable it uh, by default it's enabling in oxygen uh, there are some ignoring options uh, regarding the attributes order the namespace and those can be configured from the file comparison page. We have these options here, this option that will allow you to <laughs> enable or disable in the outer mode comparison. Then there are some options here for the namespaces, prefixes, or attribute order. Next, uh, I want to discuss about the visual diff integration and how you can integrate this new comparison mode in different uh, applications or plugins. And uh, there are, uh, it's already integrated in the file comparison tool, the tool that I've showed you with comparing uh, the files from the diff files menu. Uh, then uh, it's, uh, ca it can be integrated as an external application from a versioning system to merge the changes or just to visualize the changes in this new mode. You can use it from uh, the merge tool support that will allow you to merge to directories or projects and uh, can be used also from an Oxygen plugin as uh, George already showed you for, from the Content Fusion plugin. So first, uh, from the for the compare files tool, uh, we have uh, this access to uh, use it from the tools menu, but you can also start it from the project menu, and uh, can be used also from a diff directories tool. If you compare two directories, then it will show you the changes in a visual mode if those documents are uh, Tita Ti documents or your own custom documents. I will show you an example. So you've seen, you've already seen that you can start this comparison mode from here, compare files and just switch to author mode after you select some files. Uh, if you open this from the project view, we automatically open them in, in the author mode because we detect that both files are, uh, can be compared for author mode. 
then I can use it from the compare directories. For example, I have two projects. I have flowers project here and one reviewed and I can see the changes between those two uh, projects and if I go double click one of the files I can easily see the changes that are made in this file but in a visual mode and this one also it will show me the changes Then you can integrate it also as an external application. For this, you need to call the diff uh, files application with some parameters. You need to pass the, the left file, the original file, and the right file. And if you want to do the merging in a, in a different file, you can specify it also a merged uh, file. Uh, depending on uh, if you need a three-way comparison or a two-way comparison, you can pass only the left and right or also the, the, the ancestor file. Uh, <coughs> I have here a command that uh, will open oxygen and I pass three files those files that uh, I've already showed you and if I copy this command and paste it in a command line you'll see that the diff application will start automatically and it should open those files in a three-way mode so you can easily call this from any uh, external application and will display this uh, comparison mode and here you have full support to edit the documents to merge them as I showed earlier then you can integrate it also with source tree um, we work for example with source tree for our uh, user manual project and uh, it's easier to see the changes in source tree you see some changes that are made uh, on the entire paragraph you see <coughs> that uh, the entire paragraph was added and was removed in a visual mode you'll see the changes like this you'll see each change and you can see also the comments the uh, uh, the track changes that are uh, uh, the changes that are made with track changes in in your document or the comments that are added on on your document and i have here a project, a sample project, and I've made some changes in the project, so I can see them in the source tree like this, but it's very hard to spot the, the difference and what happens in that uh, file, so I can uh, use the external application, I can say I want to external diff yes and it will open the diff files application and I can check the real changes that are made in that document so there are some words changed here and here also so it's hard to spot this difference in, in source tree or And uh, to configure source tree to use uh, oxygen, you just need to go to the options and specify the path to, to the application and uh, some parameters to pass the, the files that should be compared. I will show you how I configure it. So if I go to the preferences, I'm here in the diff option. I have here the path oxygen in it's an oxygen installation and then the parameters and also if I want to use it as a merge tool I can specify also here the path to the application and the local remote base and uh, merge uh, version of the file so I can solve the conflicts that are uh, in in source tree
You can integrate it also with the command line client. So for this, you just need to uh, change the git config file and set some mm -hmm. uh, parameters for the, you need to define a, a tool for merging and for comparison. And also as in uh, source tree, you need to specify the path to the tool and set some parameters. And then just uh, using git and div tool and the file that you want to see the changes for, you can open the uh, comparison mode in author. And I think uh, this is another mode of com this is another mode of uh, configure uh, of configuring uh, the Git client. So you can pass these parameters also from the command line. Just running these command lines will set the the oxygen as a div tool. It's similar with <coughs> the one before. So you you even modify the git config file, or you just pass these parameters and the config file will be modified. I have here a console and if I pass these lines, it will set the oxygen as a comparison tool. And then I just need to say, I want to comp to see the changes that are made in the care data file. And I just say git div tool and the path to the file. And if I press enter, the compare will start and will show me the, or not. <laughs> Let's start again. I don't know why it didn't work. Anyway. It's a live yeah, it's a live presentation. So I, I think I missed something there. Uh, it's possible, possible that I already merged the changes from that file and I don't have any changes there, but I need to check the, the Git and find the project with some changes. Um, next, you can uh, compare uh, and merge directories uh, using this uh, compare and merge directories against the base tool. This will allows you uh, allows you to identify multiple changes in the project. So, if you have a data project or other type of project and you want to share this with someone and then get the changes back and merge them, then you can use this compare mer and merge tool and it will show you uh, the additions, the files that are added, modified, uh, and you can accept them or reject them very easily. But it will show you also the this compare in author mode in the bottom part. And I will show you an example. So let's say, uh, let's say that I want to share a project with someone and I just send him the project and then I want to get the changes back, uh, uh, the changes that he made. But I also made some changes in my project in the meanwhile. So I, I need a way to merge those changes into my project. So for this, I have here this is my project, so it's the flowers project. Then I have this original. This is the, the project mm -hmm. that I sent to, for reviewing. And this is what I got from the reviewer. And now I want to integrate the reviewer changes back into my project. So I'll just use compare directories. I will specify the base directory being the original one, then I will specify the flowers directory where I want to make the changes and it's my project and also the directories with the reviewer changes. And then I will use compare and I'll get the changes that are made in the project. I can filter them, you can see in the upper part and I can see 
only the changes that are made by the reviewer. Maybe I'm not interested in what I modified in the document and in the project and I just want to see what the reviewer did and I'll see that he added the rows here, he modified some files and we see that this can be automatically merged into my project very easily so I can just apply the changes and I can also specify to open these files after the merging is done. And I can see that there are changes on the data map and the roses file that the user changed. So now they are integrated in my project and I can see its changes. Uh, this tool can be used also from a plugin. You just need to call our API. You need to uh, pass the base directory, the uh, modified uh, the local directory and uh, the one that was modified by others and you get the merge information <coughs> and an example for this was this uh, uh, fusion plugin which is in fact a plugin that calls our API and uh, starts the merging support you can integrate it also um, you can integrate also the defiles tool from a plugin and there is an API that will allow you to compare three files so two files against the base or two files uh, and uh, this is used right now in our git client uh, Alex will present later this plugin I will show you how the comparison looks in this plugin so I have here a project, a git project, and let's see, let's say I want to commit some changes, automatically I see the changes that are made in my project, and I have this possibility to see the changes in a visual mode. And I can see what changed into my files before I commit them. So future plans, we will improve the support and we'll wait for your feedback. And uh, <laughs> yeah, if you have any questions, <laughs> just ask them. So thank you very much. Um, one question, is it possible to compare in the author mode uh, two files? They are uh, combined with different CSS files. Um, yes. The, the comparison is that done on the content that is uh, presented. So how, how will this be presented then? In different ways. So you, sh you can compare a, a dark book document with uh, data. It's okay. no problem, but like then the, the structure. The data document yes. Can present it with a different CSS. Yes. yes. If you have a CSS in the data document, we will take that into account. Yeah. yeah. For that document, I refer to that CSS. Yeah. Ah, it depends on what that CSS does. The okay, but it's not, not a problem for your diff file to, to present two different views on the same document with no. two different here. Right? No, I, the comparison, it's, uh, it will highlight the changes that are made exactly yeah. on the content. We identify basically XML elements, yeah. which are changing one part to what is changing the other part. So yeah. the fact that this uh, XML element is in the right position in red, with a different form, yeah. doesn't matter. Right. Yes? Do you have an example where you have just in case what happens if you have structural level changes, different messages? So for example, we have a unique section which contains an added table. Um, if you have a, a like a track changes, if you have something done with track changes, you said. No, if, if you, when you merge in, yes. The, the one point you have in between you have, for example, a deep section. Yes. And um, further down inside that, you have an added table. How does the interface cope with kind of those kind of block level nesting changes? Um, 
I, I don't get the, the okay. figure exactly, but I think, I think uh, they represent the entire block as a difference because uh, you added something in the remote file or in the reviewed file, but you added also uh, on your local copy or on the merge one, and there will be a conflict there. Okay. So, so it will be presented as a conflict. We extend at some point if, if there is no an exact match, let's say, we extend a bit uh, to the block that matches from the left to the right, for instance, of the first level. And then we have the second level diff that gives you, anyway, additional details about what actually changed in those two blocks. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you need to try it out with uh, yeah. a specific sample and see it. Hmm. There are other questions. Yes? Would you be able to um, to set uh, a style sheet you, you would only use for the VPN? Um, for example, you have two, two files with different styles mm -hmm. and you, you would want to have a but as a similar view, so it would be interesting to, to set this as a custom style in the framework, perhaps. For comparison only. Yeah. yeah or it's maybe a for, for um, highlighting things, you would, you would otherwise hide the view style mm -hmm. because you, you don't want to, to um, edit this in, in auto mode. Yeah, it's an interesting so idea. Yes. Right now, we don't do that. I mean, it depends on the frameworks that you are using. So when you perform the div or the merge, you can load a different set of frameworks. And then you get the CSS file specified in those frameworks. But it would be interesting probably to support the different media, uh, like we do for, so with the, with the media query, you can say if this is open in the web author, show these styles, or use these styles. If it's open in Eclipse, in Oxygen, in Eclipse, you can use a different set of styles. So we can have a media query where you can ask, you know, the CSS level, you can say, use these styles when you are in diff. You are presenting this document in diff mode. Uh -huh. Maybe it will make sense, then you can yeah. basically tune or control the styles where you are showing the document in diff. Yeah, this could be another idea, yes, yeah. to have some option like that... We have the drop down with the hugs. Yeah. 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 That's, that's kind of Any other questions? Ideas? <laughs> then, thank you very much.